Hello viewers, welcome back. So starting this video, I'm going to start a new playlist called Power of Auditing and Verification. So the power of auditing and verification is going to be very useful for various stakeholders in the organization. Basically, if you are an statutory auditor or an internal auditor for any of the organization, using these features of verification and data analysis will help you to quickly assess the volume of audit that you have to conduct. And especially for internal auditor, it is going to be very helpful to catch those exceptions because this whole module of verification and data analysis is based on exception reporting. If you are a senior accountant or a senior accounts person in the organization, you can use this feature for quickly analyzing and finding out any errors that have occurred. Probably sometimes it could be due to ignorance or in certain cases, it could be a deliberate fraud that the people in the organization would be committing. So this feature is going to help you to identify those exceptions. So I'll be covering each of these features in multiple videos so that you can leverage the feature from various angles, which I will use as use cases for you to understand. So let us go to Tally and start exploring this wonderful feature of data analysis and verification. To access the module of analysis and verification from the gateway of Tally, click on display more report and under display more report, we have this option called analysis and verification. So click on analysis and verification. So we are now under the menu of analysis and verification. The module of analysis and verification is purely an audit tool where the module reports are generated based on exceptions. This module is divided into two sections. The first one is data analysis and the second one is voucher verification. Data analysis provides reports related to masters and transactions, which are exceptional in nature. There are 15 reports covered under data analysis. The second part is voucher verification, which is purely related to voucher auditing and sampling. This section is very handy during statutory audit and internal audit activities conducted by the respective auditors. In this section, multiple types of sampling methods are provided to sample vouchers from the total voucher set. In this video, we shall walk through the different reports provided under data analysis. So let us select data analysis and click on data analysis. So these are the 15 reports which are provided in this data analysis as an exceptional report. Let us quickly understand the each of the reports content. The first one is verification of chart of account. This report provides various exceptions related to accounting masters, which we shall explore in detail in the upcoming videos. The next one is verification of stock items. Similar to accounting master exceptions, this report provides information pertaining to inventory masters. The next one, verification of balances. This is used to verify the opening balances carried forward in the newly split company after auditing and finalization of closing balances for the previous year. The next one, analytical procedures. This is a very powerful report to analyze the data with three dimensional analytics. We shall view these information in detail in the relevant videos. The next one is pending documents. This report will provide summary of pending orders, pending bills to be made and outstandings of sundry debtors and sundry creditors. The next one, periodic payments and receipts. 
here we can configure ledgers of periodic nature and analyze whether periodic payments and receipts have been made in the books of account or recorded in the books of account the next one repeated transaction this report will provide the detail of all the vouchers repeating with the same amount with number of times the same amount was getting repeated this is very handy to identify duplicate transactions the next one relative size factor this is an audit technique adopted by most of the audit tool to ascertain major difference in the pattern of transactions the next one interbank transaction this report will provide transactions made between multiple banks in the company if they have more than one bank account the next one cash withdrawals and deposits this report is again providing data point of all cash transactions of deposits and withdrawals matching to the book date and bank statement the next one fixed asset analysis a simple report provides the fixed assets added or removed during the financial year this will help in quickly computing depreciation schedule the next one transactions on holiday here we can configure weekends and holidays through this feature based on your organization's weekends and holiday list once the weekend and holiday lists are configured through this report we can view all the transactions those have been captured during these dates the next one highest and lowest value transactions this report will provide list of all ledgers having highest and lowest amount transacted along with difference in the amount and the relevant percentage the next one is again a simple report this report provides the details of all advances paid and received in partial along with the pending amount the last one stale checks and instruments this report will provide list of all checks entries made by way of receipts or payments in the books of account which have not yet been realized in the bank as per the banking norm as you are all aware any check not presented to the bank within 90 days from the date of the check those checks are considered as stale check this report will assist in getting those details which have been entered in the books of account but are not yet reconciled through the bank statement so that the organization can take necessary action before finalizing the books of accounts in the upcoming videos we shall explore each of this reports in detail with use case scenarios in this video i have walked through the various reports and features that are available in this data analysis and verification module so in the next video we will go through each of this verification and take a use case to understand how you can leverage these features to quickly manage the exceptions that occurs in the data so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much